are in this beautiful city of Goa. Well, most of you know Goa is so famous for their beaches and their parties and nightlife. But there is a different scene altogether in Goa as well. There are some world-class cuisines here and some of the best cafes that I have ever seen also exist in Goa. So for people who are new here, my name is Tarak. You are watching Taral Stories. Today in this video, I am going to show you some of the best cafes that we always tend to go back to and look at their ambience, look at their menu, eat their food, see the experience and overall give you a good list of cafes that you should definitely not miss in your journey to Goa. So without further ado, let's get started and let's start rolling. So finally I managed to get a seat in this very busy and crowded place called Baba Hall. This is on Anjuna and uh, looking at the crowd and looking at the vibes here, I feel like this is a place you should definitely put on your checklist and uh, right now I'm going to quickly sit through one of their famous coolers, it's called the Kumquan Kula. Uh, it's a fruit basically. It's got a nice sweet tangy flavor and it's really good refreshing for the hot sun and uh, we'll wait for the food to arrive but the initial impression is top notch. So this is their iced coffee, how beautiful it looks, a layer of coffee and then you have milk and then a lot of froth on the top. So, Very nice, rich, creamy, and dark. That's how I like it. So we just got our food. Look at this. It's so big. It's like a 13 inch pizza. And uh, this side of the pizza is barbecue chicken. And, uh, this side is Indian pizza, so it's chicken, chilies and onions and barbecue chicken on one side, it's half and half, amazing and we also have the hummus platter with some fried mushrooms, looks nice, very thin crust, so let's take up the whole part, yeah, looks good, let's take a quick bite. It's got that lazy touch with that chilies and onions and the chicken. Nice, soft, subtle. The crust is good. Nicely cooked. Very cheesy. And definitely a pizza worth trying. So I'm going to try the hummus platter. A little bit of bread. Lots of hummus and uh, some fried mushrooms. Mm. Very flavorful and very creamy. Beaches. Beaches are something you never get bored of. So is the cafe that I'm going to take you next. It's a cute little cafe on Tandolim and uh, this is a cafe that we often visit whenever we are in Goa. A nice place, good food and a very friendly owner. So I'll take you there and I'll show you how the cafe is and I'll also talk about the food from the cafe.
So basically they say a bad day is a good day, a happy or inspired day basically need to have a coffee and that is what the court says at least in this store. So this is a latte and uh, this is the Latin Quarter Premium. So it's a medium dark coffee and uh, it's yum, it's so nice. It's nice, it's medium, it's not too dark and uh, they make their in-house special bean so the coffee is really good. That's what I love to come back here for the coffee. And we also have a lot of food to eat but uh, right now we are going on to have the burger, the chicken burger. You know, that is really good. So I'll show you once it comes. And on the side we have another cute friend. This is a Vietnamese coffee. It's an iced coffee with condensed milk. Yes, you heard it right. So an iced coffee with condensed milk. So that is the base, the condensed milk and then you have the coffee on the top with cubes. So this is also a very nice coffee, very tasting coffee. So if you like something cold, you can try this. But if you really want to try something cold, then try the cold coffee, That's their signature cold coffee. It's amazing. That's with a the scoop of vanilla ice cream and it tastes really good. So let me get back to the coffee while I wait for the burger. So we just got the chicken burger here, um, so I'll just show you how the burger is from the side. So you got a nice thick chicken patty and you have got this melting cheese, some lettuce and tomatoes topped off with a cherry tomato on the top. On the side you have some potato wedges, nice and crispy. So this burger is sufficient for one, but uh, we're basically sharing right now. But the burger is really good. You should definitely try to check them out. Let me quickly have a bite while I'm talking, and I'll tell you. Mm. So the burger sauce they use is only plain mayonnaise, so they don't use any special sauce. But the burger patty is really nice. Soft, juicy, and uh, some chips. So that's how I would like to sum it up. So definitely check out the burger. So we just stepped out of the cafe, and uh, as usual, the experience was this good. So again, we only had the burger because we are already eating at a lot of places, but. If you turn up to come to this place, if you make the effort and come here, definitely check out some other items as well. Their sandwiches are good, their pizza is good, and then the burgers are nice. And they have these small snacks called risoi. Uh, that's from that's a prawn paste, which is really good. Check out their menu, and they also have chicken croquettes and veg croquettes as well, just to have some finger food. So basically, cafe is nice. The pricing is good, and uh, it's a good experience overall. As I told you before, it's a place you should definitely check out if you are in the cafe scene. We are in the streets of Panjim and at a very, very old place. It's, it's a place from 1930s. So we are here for almost like what, 90 years now. And this place is called Confiteria 31 de Janeiro. And yeah, that's how the name is. I will leave the name in the description anyways. And it's a cute little cafe, very old, a family run business. They make some amazing local cone snacks. And uh, this is a place which is like, you know, always for you always have people coming takeaways and all that stuff is happening it's always a, a busy kitchen a busy oven so a lot of things to eat a lot of things to try they also make some cool coffees and milkshakes and juices as well so that's what we had to find out so we go order plenty of food order some juices or order some shakes as well set up the table let's talk while we are eating so let's follow and it's on this lane it's a very small lane Put it on Google Maps before you come here and then take the small lane and you have the small shop. So not a lot of seating area, so keep that in mind when coming here.
So here we are, some, some of the local corn dishes and uh, some snacks, some blueberry cheesecake, we have a, a cold coffee, the spade, and then we also have an avocado milkshake. So yeah, that is how the setting is right now. So I just explained these items in detail. So this is the chicken roll. This one, so it's got this chicken filling inside, and uh, this is the prawn emperino. That's what they got. I don't know what exactly is that. We'll have to try it out. So this is the chicken and cheese spring roll. They have their chicken slider. This is the chicken triangle. It's like a puff. And this is their local uh, delicacy called Bebinka and it's basically jaggery and sorry big white coconut and jaggery that's the combination so yeah that's the sitting right now so a lot of items to eat on the menu so definitely do come and check this place out let's try a quick bite now mm. The first thing that comes to my mind is so fresh. <coughs> it's like as if it was just baked now. So fresh. So I think it's always on the brand. So you keep they keep replenishing all the items. So I think it's very good. Let's quickly have this coffee as well. Mm. For this weather, I think this is the best. It's, it's very nice, actually. In fact, uh, the consistency, so the cream cheese, the biscuit layer, and the blueberry all go so well. I somehow like blueberry cheesecake, and uh, this one is also no exception. Definitely check out this. After some tiring time at the beach and with a lot of sweat, it's time to crash down at this beautiful, uh, very organic looking cafe. It's called Arjuna Cafe. It is on Anjuna, on the side of Anjuna. It's called Arjuna. So that's the cafe we are heading inside. It's a vegan place, but they make some amazing stuff to eat and drink. We'll talk more inside. I'm still spreading from the hot and uh, humid climate indoor. But let's get inside and then we'll see what we really have to eat and drink. So there you saw it, right? Uh, the cafe, the food. So the sandwich what I had is a green omelette sandwich and um, it's really good. There are two portions, small and large. I tried the small one. Small itself is enough. And uh, the smoothie, it's a mango bliss. It's a mix of mango, banana, coconut. And uh, yeah, that is really, really good. And it's very natural sweetener, no artificial sweetener. And the choco frappe, it's not something of my choice, but yeah, it is okay. And uh, we've tried many things here before, waffles, pancakes and uh, many things. We've tried cappuccinos, different cafe, uh, coffees as well. So basically this place is good, food is good, the ambience you can see, right? So basically this place is not just a cafe, it's actually some, an exhibition of art. So you can see all the different artists who have uh, you know, kept their uh, work here as an exhibition. You also have, uh, on the side, you also have a counter where they do sell some handcrafts and antique related products, which is like, really cool. So this is more than a cafe, it's more of an ambience, it's more of an experience. It's like a very old farm that's converted into a cafe. So that's been it. And this is Arjuna Cafe. They have multiple branches in Goa, but come to this main or this branch, I would suggest this is an Anjuna and you should definitely check out this place if you are into the cafes. So we'll move from here. Ciao. I got my head out this sunroof. I'm blasting my favorite tunes. I only got one thing on my mind. You got me stuck on the thought of you. You're making me feel brand new. You're more than a sunshine in my eyes. You got those pretty eyes in your head. You know it. You got me dancing in my bed. So let me show it. You are exactly what I want. Kind of.
Such a cold, cool breeze, beautiful climate, lovely weather, and excellent suntan. Anyways, on the topic, um, we are at Deva Cafe, and uh, so this is a cold coffee. And I just wanted to have something cold, uh, something coffee based. Not a really fan of Americano, so I'm having a cold coffee. She's having uh, what is that? Uh, so it's a frappe mint lemonade and uh, something different. So that's what she's trying. Mm, cold coffee is good. I just wish that they had added some sugar, but that's fine. It's almost time for sunset. And uh, basically, this place is very famous for sunset, and they actually have a one hour waiting. Yeah, they always are waiting. It's, it's a busy place, it's a busy outlet. You can understand it's a seating area of only 30 people or, or more, but there's always people waiting. Luckily, we were able to squeeze, she was able to squeeze the table in uh, because we are just two people, and uh, yeah, that's how we are here. And uh, this is definitely a cafe you should come for the ambience first, just for the nature alone, a scenic location, a beautiful uh, place to sit around, a nice seating area, very nice and cozy little interior. It's a small place, but it's a very cozy interior. Small things like this, very, you know, very few things which actually makes a difference, a whole uh, better experience altogether. And, uh, that is what we like about this place and we always try to come back to this place. Having said that, the food is also good, especially try to check out their combos, which is really, really... I think it's a must uh, try. It's a good deal, actually. And, uh, yeah, early in the morning, so they don't open, so it's usually I would prefer sometime after 4 p.m., but try to be a little early uh, because this place can get crowded. Find a place towards the sea, maybe for a bigger crowd. The tables are usually picked that side, but if you find one, sit there for at least an hour or two and you'll just have good time. So basically the, that was about Eva Cafe and this is on Anjuna but uh, I'll leave the uh, place name in the description and uh, put it up on Google Maps and uh, make it drive here and let the experience talk the rest of it. For now, let me just take a view and start sipping my coffee back again. So there you saw it right, all the, uh, some of the best cafes that you can buy in Goa and uh, I'm gonna wrap the vlog here. So this is just an attempt to show you some of the best cafes in Goa. There are so many cafes in Goa on every street, on every area. So it's a little difficult sometimes. So definitely check out this video from the start to the end. You will find some of the best places you should definitely check out and do not miss any of them. And they are no, not in any particular order, so check out and find whatever is convenient and go there. Yeah. Have a sip of coffee, good, some good food, nice ambience and a lovely stay at Goa. So you all have a good day ahead. My name is Sarah, you've been watching Tell Stories. Bye bye now.